Good evening and welcome to this edition of a News Leader on 6. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Amelia Marquez. In tonight's news, Marion County authorities expect to make an arrest soon in the murder of a five-year-old child. The state fire marshal's office is warning that novelty lighters resembling children's toys can be a fire hazard. State Senator Jim Tracy says if any plan to hike the state's fuel tax is dead for now. Shelbyville County is joining Coffee County and five other school systems in suing the state over education funding. And Partners for Healing is having their annual fundraiser Saturday night. We'll have these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. It's new car discount season at Stan McNabb Chevy, and we have prices that'll beat anybody else. New vehicles up to $17,000 off. Check out this brand new 2015 Chevy Sonic, only 14.6. Chevy, Buick, GMC, Cadillac. Stan McNabb has all the new car brands you love in one location. And don't forget, we'll match or beat any dealer's price or give you a check for $500. And check us out online or schedule your service at stanmcnabb.com. Let the smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Monteagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop the smokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover, kids welcome. Hi folks, this is Wade Hayes inviting you to join me September 10th in Tullahoma, Tennessee at the South Jackson Civic Center for the Go Live Your Life concert. Now I'll be joined by J.D. Shelburne as we perform for hundreds of cancer survivors and their friends and families. Now folks, this is a free event, so please come see us. We look forward to seeing you there. Welcome back. Investigators continue to follow evidence connected with the death of a five-year-old Marion County child. Lucas Dillon was found severely injured at his home outside Whitwell in late March. Tennessee Bureau of Investigation spokesman Josh Devine says the child died from blunt force trauma and was obviously a murder victim. Prosecutor Mike Taylor says he's waiting for final autopsy results before taking criminal action. Taylor says agents continue to interview persons who had contact with the victim prior to the 911 call that brought emergency crews to his home. The Chattanooga Times Free Press reports evidence will probably be presented to a grand jury in the coming months. The state fire marshal's office is cautioning residents that novelty lighters resembling children's toys can attract curious kids who may see these items as fun but may not recognize them as potential fire hazards. While Tennessee banned the sale of novelty lighters in 2008, these items still represent a potential threat to Tennessee lives and property. Between 2010 and 2014, Tennessee fire departments reported 398 fires in which fire involving play with matches or lighters was a contributing factor where reported, according to the Tennessee Fire Incident Reporting System. Fires resulting from playing with matches or lighters caused three civilian deaths, 18 civilian injuries, two firefighter injuries, and nearly $4 million in property damage during that time. Nearly half those fires were structure fires. Shelby County Schools are joining six other school systems in uh, instigating legal action claiming the state is underfunding public education. The Memphis School System says the state failed to fully fund the basic education program causing local schools to cut staff, increase class size and delay facility maintenance and expansion. The lawsuit is similar to the one filed earlier by Coffee County Schools and five other systems which claims BEP funding shorts payments for teachers' salaries and benefits and favors wealthier school districts over systems with a smaller tax revenue base. Tennessee Economic Development Commissioner Randy Boyd paid a visit to Tullahoma recently. Channel 6's Tom Corrington spoke with Tullahoma Director of Economic Development Tom Robinson about the commissioner's visit. We're talking with Tom Robinson, uh, the executive director of Tullahoma's Economic Development Corp. And uh, he had a, a visit uh, early this month from uh, the state uh, commissioner Boyd. Anything exciting come out of that? On the well, I don't know if you'd say uh, exciting, but we're always pleased when a commissioner of any kind, but certainly my area, economic development, comes to town. Yeah, he's a top, top state cat. Uh, uh, commissioner Randy Boyd, who's been the commissioner less than a year, 
and uh, he has uh, really been going around and learning the state uh, in various capacities. And he came, as you said last week, to uh, stop in at our airport. Then he was headed south to Fayetteville and one other place, but checking out some of the general aviation facilities around the area and uh, city administrator Baltz and myself and a couple of representatives of the airport authority, Sam Krim and Jim Apple, uh, met him for a brief visit. I guess it's maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes at most. Flew in and then they left us in a van headed uh, to the rest of the tour. But uh, we uh, gave him an overview of our airport talked a little bit about this new that we just talked about, business air park. We talked about the uh, uh, fact that our airport, our general aviation main Tullahoma airport is the fifth busiest airport in the state of Tennessee and uh, has a lot of good things going. Uh, we've got some events we'll talk about in a minute going. Yeah. But uh, he was very impressed and said so. He said, they had visited a number of airports before they came here over the last week or 10 days and said we were the most prepared and he appreciated our efforts. We uh, gave him a lot of information in a very short period of time. Good. Shelbyville State Senator Jim Tracy says any plan to hike the state's fuel tax is dead for now. Tracy chairs the Senate's Transportation Committee. He says there is, there's not enough time to put together a comprehensive road funding proposal before the General Assembly convenes in January. Both House Speaker Beth Harwell and Senate Majority Leader Mark Norris earlier expressed opposition to any tax increase. Governor Bill Haslam says Tennessee needs to address chronic underfunding for transportation projects. He says a six billion dollar budget shortfall will stall vital road and bridge product, uh, projects. Tennessee's gas tax hasn't been adjusted since 1989. Stay with us, we'll be back in a moment with more News Leader on 6. Trucks, trucks, and more trucks. Russell Barnett, Ford of Tullahoma and Winchester is your home for both new and pre-owned trucks. We have a huge selection of over 200 trucks to choose from. Check us out on the web at russellbarnett.com and view our great selection. We are your truck headquarters, and we want to be your one-stop shop. That's Russell Barnett, Ford of Tullahoma and Winchester, your truck headquarters. Trucks, trucks, and more trucks. Why buy anywhere else? Hey, everybody. I'm John Harris. My name is Cass Barnes. We just wanted to make you all aware of the first annual Tullahoma Alumni Coffee Pot game. Uh, it's going to be at Coffee County uh, Middle School on their, uh, their varsity football varsity football field. It's going to be September 19th, 2015. I'm playing quarterback and I won the team captains. Also a team captain, I'm playing left guard and defensive tackle. This is very important that we get community support and involvement with this program. It's going to be one of the biggest revenue generators for the Tullahoma Quarterback Club and we're estimating anywhere from five to $10,000 of additional revenue that we can start bringing in uh, to the Tullahoma Quarterback Club on a residual basis for each of these games that we do. Um, so we look forward to your support and hope to see you there. To come out and support your Tullahoma Wildcats. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Welcome back. The Tullahoma Partners for Healing is planning a big fundraiser this Saturday night. John Gray spoke with Belle Royton about the event. I have my buddy with me today. She comes from time to time to lighten our lives and lighten our load and she's always looking to lighten your wallet because she's <laughs> looking for money. That's Belle Royston. <laughs> <laughs> and she is, she's with Partners for Healing, and they're good folks, and they're, that's a good place to lighten your wallet. 
It is. Yeah. It truly is. I've had several folks come to me and say, you know what, there's some places I like supporting. I like supporting you all, Partners for Healing, because you're taking care of people that are trying to take care of themselves and That's their families. Right. And that makes a big difference. Yes, it does. That's right. So you're getting ready to have a fundraiser. We got our fundraiser coming up. We got our annual fundraiser. And, and it's Healing on the Hill. Healing. Healing on the Hill. Healing on the Hill. And we that's going to be up Jack Daniels way. And yes. Now, who is that fellow right there? That is Mr. Rivers Rutherford. He is, as you see on the on the flyer there, he is well-nominated ACM, CMA, and Grammy-nominated songwriter. Now, I'm not up on absolutely everything, okay? But he has, there's a song Brad Paisley does with Dolly Parton in the background called When I Get Where I'm Going. Yeah. He wrote that. Did he? Jesus Easy. is a Country Boy. He wrote that one. Good. Uh, there's a song, don't ask me the name of it. Brooks and Dunn has sung his songs. It's been number one on the charts for several weeks. And I think Tim McGraw also, I might be mistaken yeah. on that one. But there's, he's had quite a few number yeah, one well, hits. Oh, great. He's a nice looking fellow. up there. I bet you're going to have a lot of girls coming <laughs> to this thing, aren't you? You know, I hadn't thought about that one. Good looking that guy. That was not my focus, okay? <laughs> good looking guy. But no, so, he's supposed to be just really good. Oh, just I'm sure he really is. Uh, when, when is the event? It is September 12th, uh -huh. 5 30 in the evening up at Jack Daniels. Um, tickets are, have remained the same over the years. So $65 for one or $120 for two. Mm -hmm. And that gets you, I mean, it's not just going up, on, you get to go up on top of Barbecue Hill. You've got an excellent meal coming at you. It's going to be barbecue and catfish and fried apples and peach cobbler and it's all good, that good, good. stuff and um then you've got rivers rutherford i mean oh my goodness to sit there and listen to a songwriter tell his story and sing his songs and that's just part of the evening yeah 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 there gonna be any other product up there y yes we got Lynchburg lemonade. All right, Jack, and, there you and go. Something else for whoever wants something. There you go. <laughs> so this is, this is a party. This is fun. This is a party. This is a fun evening, relaxing. and it's to support Partners for Healing, yes. who yes. does so much good in our community. Oh, I was going to mention because I almost forgot. We've got for up on the hill, changing slightly, up on top of the hill, we've got some auction items. Good. Some really premier type auction items. Um, Good stuff. And I'm going to ask for folks to go on either our Facebook site or our website at www.partnersforhealing.org. Mm -hmm. Check them out. Um, Jack Daniels mm -hmm. is giving us, letting us auction off a private tour for up to six people of their warehouse with the master distiller, Jeff Arnett, which is pretty sweet. Very good. Um, we've got a one week of a condo in Sandestin that's going to be auctioned off. We've got, I'm doing this from memory, y'all, so this is never good. Um, I didn't even write it on my hand, you know. <laughs> I typically can do that sometimes. We've got um, an overnight stay at the Swanee Inn along with a golf package up there oh, at good. the course in Swanee. Uh, Mr. John Harton. That man's an amazing, you know, he and um, Ross Repke are just amazing with woodcraft. Right, right. And they have donated to us always. I do believe it's been an always sort of thing. Um, I don't think John or, or Ross either one have ever sold anything they make. Those mean. They make it and they donate it to somebody to sell to for a good cause. gift. Yes, they yeah. do. And just phenomenal. Incredible man. stuff. Yeah. Their woodworking's phenomenal. Yes, and we've got, I think, uh, Ross has a table coming in a couple of his wooden boxes. And then, oh, Shui, who was the other John. one? John. John, thank you, John Hart. He's, I know this. Um, his, he's had a tree, a maple tree. 100 year old maple tree that he got off of First Avenue for years and years that he has had been able to carve pieces out of. And he told me, he said, this bowl is his last large piece he could get out of that maple tree. And it is pretty spectacular. So, and there's so much is. more. There's yeah. so much more, yes. But we were going for a large item so that people can just really enjoy themselves. We're wanting them to right. find an experience. Right. Um, and if for some reason uh, they feel like coming on up, first off, come on up, please. Come and have a party with us. We yeah. would love for you to. There you go. It's nice on top of the hill. All right. um, and if you just have money you want to give away, um, we are willing to receive. You'll take it's that good. money, yes, won't you? Yes, we will. Yes, we All will. All right. We support a good cause. It takes care of our community. Right. And that, again, is September the 12th. Yes. They can find tickets by going on the website. You can go on our website, www.partnersfeeling.org. You can call the clinic. It's 455-5014 if you have any questions. And you can also pick, up, pick t tickets either at the clinic or at uh, Feel So Good Coffee Roasters here in town. Okay. They're from across from Southern Community. They've got them available also. So there you go. got some options. Belle Royston, go party with her. She's a party <laughs> girl. Thanks, dear. Thank you. We'll be right back after these messages.
annual event started in 1939 will continue when the World Grand Championship celebration will once again be held in Shelbyville, Tennessee at the Celebration Arena. Each year, people come from all over the world to contend for the coveted honor of being crowned World Grand Champion. From the wonderful flat shod to the exciting performance horse, they will fill the ring with the breed's best of the best. The celebration supports local charities and this year they are asking everyone to come out and support the largest non-profit event in Middle Tennessee and the charities that depend on this event to fund their cause. Come out and be a part of a family tradition by showing your support for the annual Walking Horse National Celebration. For ticket and box seat information, call 931-684-5915. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. If you want to be a parent, it doesn't matter how you play, what you wear, how you dance, or even what direction life takes you. You just need to be there. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care don't need perfection. They just need you. Welcome back. The Area Alzheimer's Association is an event this Saturday on the grounds of the South Jackson Civic Center. News leader's John Gray brings us this story. I'm so proud to have a young lady with me today, Beth Cregan, and she is a, uh, represents the Alzheimer's Association, and she is here with us because Life Care Center of Tullahoma is getting ready to have an event, and she comes from Chattanooga. Yes. And, and represents Alzheimer's in this district. Yes, I do. All over um, Tullahoma, Shelbyville, this whole area. And our, our Walk to Alzheimer's is right here in Tullahoma, and Life Care Centers of Tullahoma is a huge sponsor. So we, we really appreciate them. Very good. Very good. Uh, when is your event going to take place? It is Saturday, September 12th at the South Jackson Civic Center. Mm -hmm. So we're really, really excited. It's um, it's we've got booths and a little opening ceremony in the morning. Those start at eight from eight thirty to ten, and then we walk right following our opening ceremony about ten twenty. And it's a pretty short walk, just a little over a mile and a half. We walk down to Walgreens on Jackson and turn around and come back. So it's a it's okay. a short little walk, but it's it's really fun and a really for obviously a really great cause. Right, and you know you get to see. I mean, if people who aren't from around here, or even some that are, you get to pass some of the old houses and and look at downtown and and see uh, new construction going on and all kinds of neat things happening around town. Um, how long have you been with Alzheimer's, dear? I have only been um, working in this area since October of 2014, so it's my first walk in, here oh, in Tullahoma. I'm, I'm really, really excited. I've started meeting all of our teams and meeting new people, and I'm just really, really excited to, to be here. You know, we were talking earlier, uh, and I know you're not a doctor. Right. And I'm not, you know, trying to put you on the spot. My, my grandmother passed with Alzheimer's, and I've been involved in it with it and interested in it for years. Uh, are there any new strides being made? Is, is there any new information coming out? I know you hear stuff from time to time about different different drugs or different uh, vitamins help this or that or the other. Uh, are there any major strides taking place right now yeah, with definitely, Alzheimer's? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Just um, back in the spring, there was an article that came out that um, there is, you know, some really great research being done. Um, they're moving it to human testing, so we're we're really looking forward to the future and just keep keep fundraising and raising awareness for for those research efforts. So it's it's really great great things going on in the Alzheimer's world. So. You know, some of the things that's what happens. The money that you make from this goes goes toward some of that money probably goes toward research as well yes definitely our the mission of the Alzheimer's Association is threefold so we obviously fund research our, our main vision is a world without Alzheimer's disease because we right. don't want 
you know, families to have to go through this, you know, in the future. But we also provide local care and support. We have support groups throughout the community. We have a caregiver conference every year, and we do, um, in addition, we do educational programs to promote brain health and hopefully reduce the risk of dementia uh -huh. and um, promote education about Alzheimer's disease as well. Give me the top thing, the top one, or the top two things that a person can do to promote brain health. Well, mostly a doctor would tell you just what keeps your body healthy also keeps your brain healthy. So okay. exercise, healthy eating, um, sleep. All, sleep, proper, proper sleep, all those types of things that keep your body healthy will also help keep your brain healthy. But also things like um, as we get older and we're not in school anymore, we, our brain, we're not teaching our brain new things. So teach your brain something new, whether it's working crossword puzzles, doing Sudoku, learning a new language. Um, even just traveling, luminosity. learning, right, luminosity, learning about different things, um, even in just your everyday life, you know, read, read something about history every day or something like that. Just learn a new word. Right, exactly. Just keep your, keep your brain active. Right. We really, we really do appreciate you coming and being with us today and want to know again, uh, the date on this is September the 12th. What time of day is this going to start? It's in the morning. Registration starts at 8.30. Mm -hmm. Our opening ceremony starts at 10. We've got lots of booths you can visit during that time. We've got a kid zone with a bounce house and face painting. So it's really a fun day for the whole family. Cup of coffee down there somewhere? Yes, definitely. Oh, definitely. Chick-fil-A will have biscuits. All right. Yes. That sounds good. Yeah. Stay with us. More news later is coming up in just a moment. All I have to do to think about what I was physically before and what I am now and I don't ever want to go back to that original situation. The overall mission of the rehab team is always what is best for the patient and how we can facilitate maximum potential from every resident. Well the most important thing to me is that I'm allowed to do whatever I need, want to do, you know. Everyday Miracles at Life Care Center of Tullahoma. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's gonna be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor too when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. Sir, could you step over here, please? Is there anything you want to tell me? Like what? Like maybe you're out to protect the environment? Give scholarships to kids? Fight blindness? Help the elderly? Feed the hungry? Stuff like that. Well, I only ask because you've got a little lion in you. See? Right there. Right next to whatever that other thing is. Welcome back. The Shelbyville Golden Eagles football team is off to a great start this season as they boast a 2-0 and zero record headed into their first district game this Friday night against Summit. Jim spoke with head coach Jason Hardy to get his thoughts on this week's game. Coming up this week, uh, a game against uh, Summit, I believe. Summit. Uh, yeah. What do you know about them? Not a lot. Of course, they're one of the teams that's in their region. You know, we talked about last week, kind of realigned. Uh, don't know a whole lot about them. I just know that they're a very hard-nosed uh, uh, football team. I think they got the, uh, the first win of the season last night. Uh, it'll be a lot of high stakes for them. I know they've kind of only been a program for three or four years so their expectation level this year is, is definitely higher and uh, first home region game for them this new region they'll be pumped up uh, so it'll be it'll be a good battle uh, expect a, a hard fought contest uh, we'll get film broken down and kind of see what we need to do against them and you know one of the big things even though I know some is going to be a, a really good football team there's going to be a lot of time this week spent on us and uh, not to take away from any other team, but I just think as a good football team, you got to really work on yourself. So. 
Okay. All right. Is that an away game? It is. Okay. Is that All right. All right. Summit's in what city? Summit is right there kind of on the border. It's right around Spring Hill. It's oh, okay. Just in Williamson, just inside Williamson County. So. Yeah. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. That's coming up this Friday night, folks. And then once again, the Shelby people Golden Eagles are 2-0 and on the season. A great way to start the season. There's a lot of excitement and some players that I know I hadn't seen before and that we just mentioned just a moment ago. So get out and see those Shelbyville Golden Eagles, folks. And if you can't get out there, please be, uh, be sure and watch this show every Saturday morning at 1030 on Charter 193. The pet of the week this week at the Tullahoma Animal Shelter is a Labrador mix named Alice. Alice entered the shelter as a stray and is approximately one year old. Alice loves the water and gets along well with other dogs and children. She will receive a free spay provided by the Tullahoma Animal Shelter. Be sure to check out the Tullahoma Shelter on Facebook for upcoming events and fundraisers. Remember, you can help support your local shelter by adopting, donating, or volunteering. For more details, contact Teresa at 454-9580. The Tullahoma Animal Shelter is located at 942 Maplewood Avenue. The Coffee County's Humane Society featured pet this week is Lulu. She has been at the shelter for a long time and needs a forever home. The shelter also has many other dogs available for adoption at 1210 Oakdale Street in Manchester. Hours of operation at the shelter are 7.30 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. The shelter's phone number is 723-2730. Donations for animal care can be made to the Coffee County Humane Society at P.O. Box 252 in Manchester. Their website is www.coffeehumane.org. Stay with us. Your weather forecast is coming up next. The Kia Summers on Us sales event is going on right now at Russell Barnett Kia of Tallahoma. Let me tell you about this event. Purchase a new Kia Sedona, Kia Optima, Kia Forte and receive 0% financing up to 66 months and your first three payments for free. For a limited time only, no strings attached. With America's best warranty, the 10-year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. The Kia Summers on Us sales event going on right now. Why buy anywhere else? Wherever good can overcome, that is where your contributions to the Salvation Army go. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1954 at 98 degrees. The record low was in 1952 at 45 degrees. Average high on this day is 86 and the average low is 63. Tonight, look for partly cloudy weather with a low of around 67. Partly cloudy weather again in your forecast on Friday with a high of 90 and a low of 68 and a 30% chance of storms in your forecast for Saturday with a high of 89 and a low of 67. And that's our news leader report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. And from all of us on News Leader 6, wishes you and your families a fabulous weekend. Thank you.